Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you. In today's video, we're going to put on some camera protector lens on the iPhone 13 Pro. Now, you can do it for any of the iPhones as well. Now, these protector lens that we put on sometimes can help with things like scratching and there's other, of course, benefits of using this if you want to use them. And they're pretty cheap to get. You can get them off eBay or Amazon for only a couple bucks for your phone. Again, Again, it's another preventive measure. We're going to put those on, show you how to install it, and then put on our MagSafe cover to see how it looks with camera lens protector on iPhone 13 Pro. Now, these come in different varieties of it, and we're going to do the ones with the full glass, which means it will cover everything here so everything is safe. So when you do this installation, first thing first is, of course, you want to make sure that if it's not a new phone, if you used it already, if it's been out of the box, make sure you clean the lens and everything around it really well. And to do that, all you do is simply, again, you can use a alcohol wipe or any of these wipe that comes with it. And this one has two part wipes, so we have a wet one first, we'll apply, and then we'll apply a dry one just to clean out any dust and lint, anything that could potentially you know, get stuck. Again, these protector glass lens are just supposed to cover and shield this, these lens and then, of course, the frames and just to protect you in general sometimes because on the iPhone 13 Pro, as you know, and the 13 Pro Max, the lens are super huge which makes it difficult for the brushing here so we'll clean those up and then put that lens on just to show you how it works so we'll go ahead and add this and then now we're going to go with the drying step here again very crucial to do this part again not a lot of people do that but this step you don't want to miss out on because if you have grease or dust or anything like that the camera lens will be blurry and then you're going to take it off and have to reinstall a new one so we'll go ahead and apply that and after we have applied that we're pretty much ready to put our lens on now to install the lens here most of them again will have some sort of adhesive onto it that you can apply on as you can see this one is a full glass so to apply this one you want to just make sure you don't touch the bottom here when you take it off and it's just lining it up so this one for example We'll start from the thing. Now, to get this perfect, you want to line it up as perfectly as you can. Now, this does take a little bit of patience, so if you don't get it right away, don't stress about it too much. As you can see here, it should fit on. This one, especially the cover, we've seen the ones with the specific lens as well. That's another option you have, but this one, for example. Now, we'll see how it looks with this on, so we'll re reapply the wet and then the dry one one more time now the cameras are huge and with the lens on we suspect it's going to look even huge now let's see the lens on as you can see the bump level went up now you don't have those bumpy ones it's just completely flat just like that laid there and it just sits there now they're again easy to remove as well we will show another video how to actually remove them and then this time we have the meg safe case on again this is the case from apple store you can put it on here and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at what it looks like so the MagSafe one fits perfectly now you have more leveled bump here again now if you're just supposed to drop it or if you have keys or something scratching it it'll just scratch this and protect the lens as well it does make it look a little bit it off like kind of fake but again because these are like on top of it so if someone looking from it be like oh but then again i guess it adds a little bit of feature to it to really protect it as you know protecting your iphone especially the iphone here which is you know expensive phone again it could be very helpful for you as you can see here we just put it on just like that and of course the screen protectors on this one and all of that so here it's the look of it so again does it look great? We'll let you guys decide. Now, is the camera protector lens really worth it or not? Is something you should get or not? Personally, I think sometimes it might be worth it, especially if you go outdoor a lot with it and, you know, you have a lot of things going on. If you're really into where you throw your phone around, you want to protect your phone because it's an investment, of course, might be worthwhile to put one on again we haven't seen too much issues with it but definitely those lens can crack because they're glass 
and they can't scratch but this definitely adds one more level of assurance that you know you won't have any issues with your phone and you're protected so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video with this quick little tutorial and overview of camera lens if so please make sure that like and subscribe button also don't forget to also put in a comment if you're using one if you like it if you don't what's your experience what do you think about it put a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time